In this lesson, we'll start creating very simple emitter for particles. So in the shelf, you see here, I have the particles tab and I will click on location particle emitter. If I click once, now Houdini waits me to place the particle emitter in the scene. So I will hit enter on the keyboard to set that at the center of the grid. And let's go to object level and I will expand the window a little bit here. And you see here, we have just auto dot network and location particles. Of course, this works like the pyro FX. So the, this container brings the result of the particle from the auto dot network. So let's hit play and see, as you see, we have some particles falling down. The reason they are falling down because we have a gravity in the auto dot network, as you see here. Okay. So let's move the, these nodes and arrange them. And you can, of course, disable the gravity. And now let me disable that. And now if I rewind and play, you see the particles going in all directions. And you see it's very, very fast. The amount of particles that emitting in the viewport, as you see, it's really, really fast. Okay. Okay, and another thing, if you disconnect the gravity by shaking that, and if I set the gravity here in these nodes, as you see, I am getting an error. The reason is because if you look closer, this is a gray color, and Houdini expect you to set a purple input, okay? So as you see, I don't have a purple input. It's a green and it's a gray. So, but if you come here and set the gravity between these nodes and click play and it works, okay? The reason is because we have a gray and a gray color here. So it works like that too, okay? So let's put it back to uh, after the pop solver. And now let's take a look at some attributes or some parameters for the location of the particle, okay? So here you see I have the birth tab. You see here I have the impulse activation and impulse count. These two attributes works together and these two works together. For example, if I set this one to zero and zero, and now if I hit play, nothing happens, okay? But if I change the impulse count to, for example, 10, and hit play, now Houdini will emit 10 particles per frame, okay? And if I set this one to zero, this will be disabled. And again, we don't have any particle. So these two attributes works together, okay? And these two works together too. So if I, let's set that to zero and I can set the constant activation. So now I am activating these nodes by setting that to one. And if I set the birth, for example, to 50, now Houdini will emit 50 particles per second, okay? Not per frame. If you use this one, these two attributes, this works per frame, okay? But this one works per uh, second. So if you hover the mouse over the birth rate, now you see written down number of particles to emit per second, okay? And here you see I have the life expectancy. Okay, so this is how much life your particle will live till dies, okay? So for example, it's 100, so the particles will die after 100 seconds, okay? And this is the love life variance. So if you increase that, some particles will die after 100 seconds, and some of them will die before 100 seconds. We'll take a look at these attributes later. And now if I go to the attributes, you see I have the velocity, okay? So if you, let's first disable the gravity here. 
and I will go back to the location particle and you see here I have the velocity so if I hit play now the particles going in all directions right but if you set this one to zero and hit play now the particles don't move even we have particles but they are not moving and this seems like we don't have any particle in the in the scene but we have particles okay so if you set this one for example to one now the particles will move up now we can see that let's zoom in a little bit and hit play as you see now the particles going up but because we don't have any variation of the velocity now as you see the particle sticks together and moving up so now if i change that a little bit adding more variance and now let's rewind and hit play now you see we have some spreading in the uh, particles and some variations okay now let's see how we can duplicate the uh, particles okay so let's go to the first frame and here you see i have the pop location right so if i hold ctrl and c on the keyboard and ctrl and v now i duplicated the particle so now i will connect that to this one so because we have the purple color so we can connect them together okay so i will select the second particle location and move it up uh, sorry to the right somewhere here okay so now if i hit play as you see we have two uh, particles so and if you come to the steam stream sorry you see here i have the dollar os so this will create a group for us the stream is like the group so you are grouping the particles so now we have if you middle mouse hold the middle mouse click here you see i have point groups stream location and stream location one this is the stream location one and this is the stream location okay so the dollar os brings this value graphs this value this string name for the pop location okay so even if you set that for example to particle one and let's set the second one control and c and control and v and this one particle two okay so now if you middle mouse click you see uh, now i have stream particle one and stream particle two so now say you want to color the particles okay so one red and the other one other color so i will go to the object level and now in the location of the particles i can set a color node by hitting tab and type color and let's move the render and viewer flag to the color and now you see two of the uh, emitters colored white so we can come here to the group and if you click here you will see i have stream particle one and stream particle two so we ho we have this I don't know why this still uh, here so if I rewind that and go back and it should be updated now okay so it's gone so now I have a stream particle one and stream particle two so now I can choose stream particle one and let's go back and now we set another color ctrl and c and ctrl and v okay so for the second one i will choose let's delete uh, that and i will choose stream particle 2 and color this one red okay as you see now we color the particles because we set two particle location and we created a group okay for them i will show you in another lectures how to create a group by using the group node not the stream Okay. so of course you can go to the particle location and delete them too based on the uh, group so i will see you in the next lesson